Hello everyone, this is Bernice from The Napping Mouse, and in today's video, I want to show you how to create this uh, cute little, um, it says stack the deck, but actually I'm calling it a deck stack mini album, and this size of the album is 4 by 6 and the spine is about, whoops, let's say, 1 and a quarter inch. Uh, why? Okay, so I'm going to do a quick flip through here, um, but this is going to be the base of an album because throughout the year I'm going to be creating a lot of these types of albums that's going to have the uh, decorative paper and the mat and all of the ephemeras that go inside. And so therefore, when I say a base, you can start off with this base and then in future videos, you can go ahead and add whatever theme um, that we're working on at that time. Okay, so I'll do a quick flip through. The, okay, so this was my, this is my prototype. Okay, so I've got notes here, but you don't need to take it because I've already separated and made this here for you guys, and I'll have this link down below. So when you're working with a matte paper for the outside cover, you're going to have to cut it at three and three fourths by five and three fourths. Okay, that would be the matte, and that would be the decor paper for the outside cover. Okay, and then it'll tell you how many pieces you're going to create because you're going to create it for the front and the back page. Okay, but I already have that all set aside. If you want to take a screenshot, go for it. If not, the link is down below. Okay, and so here we go. The first page is just going to be a simple page, and then the second page as well. You have a uh, room for writing or putting uh, photos over here. Third page is going to have a pocket. And fourth and, or excuse me, fifth and sixth page will be open. And then the seventh page also nothing. The eighth page will have a flip out that you can do. Can you see that? Oops. Flips out even more. Okay. And then also it will have a side tuck. Okay, and the ninth page will be nothing, and then the tenth page will have uh, four waterfalls included in this, okay? I am so glad that you joined me today. Now let's get crafting. Okay, folks, now the supplies you're going to be needing is two 12 by 12 cardstock. This one here I still have on my online store, and it is called Mosaic Blue by My Colors Cardstock, okay? I'll have that link down below if you're interested. I also have other colors, but this is the one that we're going to be working on. Then you'll also need a trimmer and a scoreboard, okay? And then liquid glue or if you want a tape runner. Now I have the uh, refills for this uh, still on my online store and I'll have that link down below um, if, if you're interested in using that. And then the measurements list, which this is going to be for future reference, okay? So again, I'll have that there, but um, the link is down below as well. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our 12 by 12 paper and we're gonna cut it at six. Now, if your paper is directional, meaning top and bottom, you're going to want to turn this part to the side, okay? If it's not directional, don't worry about it. But if it is uh, directional, turn it to the side and cut it at six. Oopsie. Oh, I got to fix that. I'll fix that. Okay, and then also take the other one, uh, your second one, and cut it at six. my paper I will fix that off camera but before I do I want you to do this get your um, paper here and you're going to number these uh, uh, each page is here okay so the first one will be panel one second is panel two the third is uh, three and then the last one is four okay I'm gonna fix those and then we'll come right back Okay, folks, I am back, and it looks a little bit better than the last time. I mean, I still got to cut a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is take panel one. Now, at panel one, at the 12-inch mark, you are going to cut it at three and three-fourths. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Good Lord. I really have to change that. That is like super bad. Okay. We're going to call this the waterfall. Okay. So I'm putting H2O fall and I'm going to set that aside for now. And then I'm going to score this, the panel number one at four and four and one fourth. Okay. And I'm going to set that aside in another pile. Okay. Now for panel number two, we are going to cut at three and one fourth. Oh, wow, sir. Wow, sir. I may. Yeah, that's go clean it up after <laughs> off camera is for sure. Okay, so that one we'll call it pocket. And we'll set this with the waterfall and panel number two, we are going to score it at four inches and four and three fourths inch. Okay. And I'll put that with panel one or with page one. No, with panel one. Sorry. Okay. So panel number three, we are going to cut it at two and three fourths. <laughs> yeah that's really bad okay sorry about that folks okay so two and three fourths and we are going to this is going to be the side tuck okay and i'll put that aside and then also on panel number three we are now going to score it at four inches and then five and one fourth inch. Okay, four inches and five and one fourth inch. Let's set that aside. And now panel number four, we are going to cut it. Get my little pencil out of the way because it does have a tendency to follow me. We're going to cut this at three and three fourths. Okay, and this is going to be, again, part of our waterfall. So we're going to call it waterfall. Now, I know it seems like a little redundant, or I wouldn't say redundant, but like why have to mark it down? It really makes it easier for later on, and you'll see why um, in, as we move along. Okay, so now for panel number four, we are going to score it at three and three fourths and then f uh, seven and five eighths okay so three and three fourths seven and five eighths and this is going to be our fold out you also don't even need to erase these um your little notes here because they're going to be covered up anyway so yeah don't worry about that okay so now we're not done cutting let's get our waterfall okay and the waterfall we had cut it or this is the six inch mark first thing that we're going to do is um score it at half an inch and then rotate it and score it at half an inch okay and then we are going to cut it at three inches okay so that makes the part of the waterfall and then we'll repeat for this side so we're going to um, at the six inch mark, score it at half an inch, rotate it to the other side, and score it at half an inch, and then cut it at three inches. Okay, there we go. So now we have all that is, uh, separated. Okay, so now we are done with all of the cutting here, so we're going to set this aside. And then first things first is we'll go ahead and fold and burnish all of the score lines that we did. I'm just doing this for the pocket or this is for the side tuck. Um, and the only thing that we're going to be gluing is actually the album today. We're not going to be gluing anything else because when we add our our um the mats and also the decorative paper 
you want to like for example if you were to glue this pocket you're it's going to be too difficult to to work around uh the pocket so we're not going to glue it just yet and the fold out especially and then also the side tuck so all of that will be separated we will number the pages after we're done with the album but we will not um but we will not be gluing anything today when you look at the other um or when you look at future tutorials that i'm going to make uh, with this using this album then you will see the gluing part okay but today no we're just going to glue the album to together or yeah we'll just put the album together okay so there is that and I'm not going to worry about taking this out. Um, I could just worry about it when when it, I cross that bridge. Cross the bridge, cross the road. What are we doing? We're folding and scoring right now. Okay, so I'm taking number three and I'm folding on the score lines and burnishing. Making sure that the lines are nice and crisp. Okay. Also, make sure that you're matching. Can you see that? That you're matching this. Okay. That's number three. And then number two. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today is a cool day. So great for crafting. It's not like cold, cold, and it's not warm. It is just a nice day. A nice cozy day. I think after this one, I'm going to make some tea and relax a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to assemble this. Let's get number three. Okay, and what I like to do, we're going to assemble it in the middle, but we're going to make sure that it's got like a fourth of an inch on each side over here. So what I like to do is I like to create tuck spots. If you prefer to measure it, that's fine. I'm just fine with the tuck spots. So that's the top side. And then I just make sure that it is even on each end. And I'm just really, oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Eyeballing it, making sure I'm in frame here. Okay. And then what we'll do, if you wanna draw a thin line, and you'll see what I'm talking about. We can also do, do that as a guide as well. We are going to add glue here, okay? And so I'm gonna use liquid glue, but you can use the adhesive glue, uh, glue that if you prefer the, the tape runner. Um, it does go by, um, you know, makes you create the project a little bit faster. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is hope you can see that yes you're in frame i'm just going to line this up here okay and then also making sure that i'm lined up on the sides so that my album is nice and even and then let's press that firmly yes and then let's check on the other side perfect 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 okay and now we're going to do the same for this. So I'm going to get number one and I'm going to put it on top of number two. But I'm going to create little tucks or a little tick marks. Is what, if I've been calling it tuck, tuck marks, that's not what I mean. I mean tick marks is what I mean. Okay. And then also we're going to do the same for the bottom, making sure it's even. And then it just makes it easier. For me, it does. Makes it easier to create that line. And when I when I'm gluing it down, um, I know it's even and straight on, you know, straight on this side and then even uh, with the with the spacing. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so again, I'm adding liquid glue, and then I like to spread it out, making sure that it really hits the edges of this. Okay, and then I fold it like this, and then matching the lines, just going a little bit above the line so you're not really seeing the line. I mean, not that you can really tell. You won't be able to see that much. Oops. Okay, we can 
That looks like a little mess, but that could be cleaned up. Okay, let's see on the other side. Ooh, okay, I put a little bit too much glue, but hey, that is okay. All right, so then I will just lay this flat and let that dry a little bit. Actually, okay, you see how I wanted like a fourth of an inch on these. Now, this doesn't seem like so much, but I'm really not going to fuss over it. This will give you a lot of room to add your ephemeras, your photos, your you know tickets stickers whoever you want to give it to tea oh my god little bags of tea that'd be so cute and what a surprise okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to number these pages okay now it's drying but we're going to number them so this is going to be page one two page three and four five I'll cross that out six seven and cross that out and that'll be eight and then page nine and cross that out and that's page 10 okay so on page 10 is going to be the waterfall now i'm not going to glue them um i will show you when I, we create uh, another uh one adding the the mat and the decorative papers and all that i will show you then step by step on how to put this waterfall together for now i'm just gonna clean this up afterwards that's all i'm gonna do okay and let me get my um uh this this will show you so like the outside cover is going to be um this size the mat paper is going to be that and the decorative paper is going to be that you'll need to cut two pieces and it's for the front and back and then also we've got measurements for the spine and how many you need to cut for the inside pages um and that's how many you'll need to cut and so the pocket will tell you which page it goes so this goes on page three the side tuck pocket will go on eight and also the fold out will go on eight and then this is on page 10. You can change it up if you want to. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. But um, but this is the way that we are going to do it. So we're going to get the side tuck here. And this is the, um, the fold out page. And then you're going to glue the side tuck on top of the flap for the fold out page. And then once you do that, you're going to glue this. And this is going to be on page eight okay and sometimes it's just better maybe you want to glue the flap first so you're going to add glue here and you're going to put it against page eight okay and then have that down because for the side tuck once that's down for the side tuck what you're going to do is just add glue to the back side on three sides here if you want to add like a little notch here or some kind of indication that there is an opening or a pocket you can go ahead and do so but you will glue it on top of that flap so that flap becomes becomes hidden okay and there is that part the last thing would be the pocket and and I do apologize, but you're going to have to get your trimmer and scoreboard out again. I totally forgot about that one, but hey, here we go. No worries, no worries. Okay, so what you're going to do is at the six inch mark over here, you're going to cut it at five inches or cut one inch off. Okay, this is actually scrap. So if you have an idea to use this for this particular project, I would love, oh, hey, maybe you can use it as a little, I don't know. Let me know what your ideas are because I hate wasting paper, but sometimes, sometimes you just don't know what to do. Okay. But, um, so anyways, now, so that's, that's scrap paper for now. And then you're going to get your pocket and on three sides, you're going to score it at half an inch okay and then uh, again also make sure that your if your pages are directional that you're scoring it at the correct side now go ahead and fold and burnish the score or the the fold lines if you like what you see please give it my uh this tutorial a thumbs up it would really help me a lot and I'll be having a lot more uh, tutorials 
So um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and let's join our little community here. Okay, so when you're going to cut here, back to the pocket, when you're going to cut, you're going to create the V. But when you cut, don't cut too much to the edge because then it's going to show a hole. Cut like maybe an, an eighth of an inch away. So at an angle, or I mean, I like to call it a V, um... That's how you're going to cut it. Then you're going to fold in the flaps and fold this up and then add glue. And then this is going to go to the third page. You know what? I'm starting to like these ragged edges. So I'm going to have to think about that. When you do glue it to the page here, make sure that it doesn't obstruct the closing of the, um, the album itself. Okay. So yes, you're going to do that. And um, I like the way that it closes be or that the flaps are there instead of not having any flaps and just adding glue because it does give a lot of room for extra things there. Okay, we've set this aside. All right, folks, there you have it. There is our album. I hope you enjoy today's tutorial. And if you do, again, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, please join our sweet little community and subscribe to my channel. Okay, until next time, you have a great day. Bye-bye.